Last month, we introduced you to Tucker O'Neill and Wes Brumbaugh, two friends who spent 14 hours on foot walking 40 miles from Pasadena to Santa Monica. Well, this weekend, they did it again. All right, Tucker has once again decided that it's a good idea for us to walk 40 miles. We were on the news once, and it's gone straight to our heads. Here we go. I love Wes. Uh, Saturday, the pair picked up where they left off, heading from Santa Monica through Venice, Lamert Park, and downtown, ending at the Griffith Observatory 79,000 steps later. Fresh off their latest journey, Tucker and Wes join me on the news again. We're going to have to get you uh, some agents, a pair of agents. You're, you two are going to just take off as celebrities. Thank you two so much for being with me tonight. Thanks for having us Thanks back. Thanks I really us. appreciate it. Okay, I want to know, because you admitted last time that you're, you're not athletes. You didn't train for this. As a <laughs> runner, I know how long 40 miles is and what that does to your body, whether you're running or walking. So tell me, Tucker, I'll start with you. Are you sore? Yeah, I think this one we were a little more mentally prepared going into it. Uh, we knew the pain we were going to endure, especially in the last 10 miles. Um, but physically, we were about in the same shape. So uh, we were very sore the next day. I'm still sore right now. But, uh, you know, we were able to do a second of, second time, which shows that, you know, it's uh, the first one wasn't a fluke. Uh, and, and Wes, do you still have all 10 toenails? I have, I have uh, maintained my toenails, but uh, very sore. I'm not sure my knees are as good as they uh, <laughs> they were before these two walks, but yeah. 79,000 steps. You two are impressive. Okay, so th this latest route, how does this compare to the original route as we're giving our viewers sort of a sense of the distance that you covered on Saturday from Santa Monica to Griffith Observatory? Wes, how did this differ from your first walk? What's your big takeaway? Yeah, this one was actually uh, significantly more scenic. Um, we'd have a little practice with figuring out the route. So this one was a lot of fun. Uh, took, took us through a lot of different areas um, in the city. And uh, yeah, my big takeaway was that adventure is kind of right outside my door. Uh, I live in Marina del Rey right now. So we actually walked just past my apartment. And, uh, you know, 40 miles later, it was, a, it was an entire day of fun and, <laughs> and mischief. So yeah, it was a lot of fun. And Tucker, did you find that this route was any more pedestrian friendly than the first one? Because I know that that is a big problem here in Los Angeles. Right. Yeah, I definitely would say it's about as pedestrian friendly as the first walk was, which was not at all. But, um, you know, the other thing I'll say is that we did it and um, it really was pretty enjoyable. Like Wes said, we, we covered a lot of areas that um, I'd never been to before in L.A. So uh, a lot of new experiences and, and we really enjoyed it. What's the what was the most surprising that you discovered? Which element? Uh, I would say um, Kenneth Hahn Park was really beautiful. I'd never been there before. Um, and then we also just stumbled along a lot of kind of surprise uh, music festivals or um, different little situations that we found ourselves in. Wes, do you get any arguments or anything along the way? <laughs> Not, not too many arguments. Honestly, we, we had we had to tell ourselves the day before, you know, no arguing or if we were about to start, that <laughs> we have to take a second and cool off. But yeah, we uh, we seem to be able to just chat our way through the whole 15 hours. So uh, that wasn't too much of a problem. And uh, yeah, no, not not too much arguing a little bit over the posting and the pictures, but uh, not too bad. <laughs> Social media will get you every time. OK, so y you have gone ahead and started a whole Instagram account. I just gave you a follow. It's lost on foot. So this means then yeah, you plan to do another walk. What is next? Wes, I'll start with you. Yeah, so we're looking to do uh, San Diego next. We'd love to do another LA walk. Uh, if you'll join us, Marla, we're, we're waiting on it. We're looking forward to it. And then uh, we're planning on San Diego and, you know, covering California and then maybe even the, the country and then, then we're on to the world. But yeah, you guys can follow all of our misadventures and uh, knee pain uh, uh, on Instagram at Lost on Foot. Okay, well, I said last time on the air that I was going to join you, but I, I couldn't make it this past weekend. I do. You have my absolute word. Whatever's next, I will be there. You two are such an inspiration. I really like this idea of exploring and, and what you said, that adventure is right outside your door. So that's a great takeaway for all of our viewers as well. Tucker and Wes, thank you so much for being with me tonight. Thank you, Marla. Thank you, Marla. I really appreciate it. Thanks.